Well, here in New England, we are famous for our colorful fall, but also impressive, the color that's closer to the ground. We're talking about cranberry bogs. The bright red bogs are a staple here in New England, and what you might not know, you can actually tour them. So let's go live now to Brianna Pitts in Rochester, where she's finding out more. Good morning, Brianna. Good morning, Kate and Liam. We are here live in Rochester, that's right, from Hiller Bog. I have with me Kim Mio from the Cape Cod Cranberry Growers Association and Dick Ward, who is a generational cranberry farmer. Uh, first of all, the most amazing thing to me is the fact that we are standing in almost half a billion cranberries. That number is crazy and so cool to think about. And eventually, these are all going to make their way to your dinner table in some aspect. Um, Kim, I want to start, though, with the tours because people may not know that they can actually come tour the bog. So what can people expect when they come? Yeah, thanks. So we have uh, public tours on the weekends. At, we have to have a morning tour and an afternoon tour. And people can get, we bring them up to a wet harvest. So we get them as close as we can and they can see the floating berries and the loading of the berries or the picking of the berries. So we just love to get them exposed to this uh, industry. I know. Does anyone get to take a bite of the cranberries when they're on the tour? It depends on the grower and the location, but <laughs> they, they usually are very welcome. Dick is... Um, generous to give us his barn this year is the start of our tours and we've made it into a little educational um, display center for the for cranberries and dick let's uh is very generous bringing his cranberries with us to let people try them i mean dick is the pro and really quickly before we talk to dick where can people get tickets for the tour so on our website at cranberries.org the tickets are right there on the front page okay awesome kim dick how long have you been at Cranberry now since 1964 Okay, so Dick knows a thing or two about this. Um, Dick, talk about the, the growing season this year, because how did that impact you guys? Uh, it, it did affect us, but uh, we got to the point in August, we were worried about the drought and the water for harvest and irrigation, and then we started getting a little bit of rain, and that kind of filled it in. We still did uh, have get affected by the drought, but... Um, our irrigation, bad. yeah, we, we were, our reservoirs held up fairly well. Okay, so we're right now in what's called a, a wet harvest, correct? Yeah. Okay. Two kinds of harvest, wet harvest and dry harvest. Wet harvest is all the processed craisins, cranberry sauce, um, juice, and all that. The dry harvest is primarily just fresh fruit. Okay, so Dick has a little tip for everyone at home. He's been doing it for a very long time. Dick, can you walk through your, your process here? I go to farmer's markets once in a while, and uh, I tell people, buy a box of cranberries, put them in a vase like this, and then take them home, put them on the kitchen table, and then you got to realize they're more beautiful than flowers. I'm a cranberry grower. Uh, you can eat them. And they last longer than flowers. There you go, everyone. It's perfect. Should we all have a cranberry, I guess, right now? All right. Here you go. Mm. It gives you pucka power. Woo! Pucka That's strong, guys. <laughs> Kate Liam, back to you. Awesome. I pucka love it. Pucker power. All right. Thanks. That's such good tips. Your wife already does that with the jar. She does the vase, and it lasts all fall. She makes it the centerpiece. It's pretty. I love I like it. it. I've never heard of that. Well,